My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. In this video, we will see another example of scripting uh, global behavior just once, um, but that will apply for all entities of some type to activate some features, and we will use meta tables again to do that. Um, Okay, so you can see the previous chapter for basic introduction about meta tables. Um, and today we will work with destructible items. So destructible objects, we, we've seen them in, in one of the first tutorials, but um, these are the stones, bushes, uh, vases, and basically, basically things that the hero can destruct, um, destroy and where he can get uh, possibly some treasures uh, with them and they are configurable well you can say if they can be lifted if they can be cut so here i have a stone that can be lifted but that requires the lift ability to be at least one so to be able to lift it to lift the stone the player will need this power uh, glove and now I can lift the stone. Same for the bush, except that the bushes can also be cut by uh, the sword. I don't have the sword here, but I have prepared this little chest. And when I have the sword, I can cut the bushes. Um, so yeah, I can cut the bush because, because here I said cutting the object, yes. And if you set zero as a weight, uh, then it can be lifted um, unconditionally, so you don't even need the lift ab ability from the power glove. So here I can lift this bush, I can also lift this pot, but not the, the stone. Um, okay, what we want to do is maybe display some message when you try to uh, lift the stone, but you don't have the lift, don't have enough lift ability. Um, it turns out that we already have an event in the Lua API for these and this is the onlooked event. So this is called when the hero looks this destructible object, so when you press the action key but without being allowed to lift the object. So nothing happens by default but you can uh, show a dialog, that's what we will do in this example. And actually this remark in the documentation is uh, just what we are going to do in this video. Uh, but let's start the naive way to make sure that we understand why meta tables are so cool. <laughs> how, would you, how would we do it uh, if we wanted to apply it just on this little individual stone here? So let's call it stone and in the script of the map we would do stone unlooked and here just start a dialogue maybe the dialogue would be called destructible dot uh, too heavy I will copy this dialogue ID because I will create it now in my English dialogue file create a new dialogue destructible dot too heavy um, so it's di displayed that way with, with a tree, um, that's the convention that we use when, when there are some separations with dots in dialogue names. And we can just say, for instance, this is too heavy for you. Save. Okay. So does it work? Yes. But um, as you can guess, it only applies, the drawback is that it only applies to that stone and not to the other stones of the map or even of the rest of the game. So nothing happens with this one. So this is a, a good opportunity to use meta tables in, instead. So let's see how we do that. Um, we can create a script in our meta folder here like we did 
in the previous tutorial and maybe it will be called destructible.lua so here I have an unfortunate map name the map is called destructibles so the map script is called destructibles.lua which is a little bit confusing because I'm just creating another script also called destructible.lua but never mind this is this was just the map script and we will remove the code from there anyway so I will close the map script and just keep my new script that will do uh, that will get the destructible meta table we can call it destructible meta with sol.main.meta table and the name of the type destructible and I, will, I can paste what I had in my map script we did stone on looked so instead of putting the on look event on one only one stone instance I would put it on the meta table so on the type destructible basically itself which which will mean all destructible entities will have it so yeah that should just work provided that we call this code at least once and we have these features that lua script for instance where we can uh, call this kind of script destructible and that's it so calling this enables the dialog on all destructibles oops I have a mistake here in my code line 4 attempts to index global name which is a nil value so game is not declared here I did my copy pasting a little bit too quickly but game will be self get game so here self is is the stone it's the destructible object entity so we can get the game from there cool this time it works it works for both both stones and as soon as you get the power bracelet then there is no longer a dialogue you just lift the object um okay cool what happens with our bushes here? Um, okay, I can already lift them because I guess the, the weight is zero. Let's set the weight to one. So this way, bushes will be able to be lifted only if you have the power bracelet. But they can still be cut with the sword. So maybe in that case, instead of saying this is too heavy for you we we might want to say um, that we should find some uh, sharp item to to cut the bush so basically the sword which is here and when you have it you can you still cannot lift the bush but you can cut uh, cut it um, okay so to do that we want we can just test if the destructible object here can be cut here and the Lua API can tell us that we can get all properties actually of our destructible and this one is the one we are interested in here in this example get can be cut so if self get can be cut then um, we show another dialogue destructible uh, should cut otherwise too heavy okay so we need to create that second dialogue destructible dot uh, should cut okay uh, sorry I, I forgot to create the content of my dialogue you should find something to cut these bushes okay and let's see if that is working 
Yay! You should find something to cut these bushes. And this is too heavy for you. And as soon as you have the sword, well, we still see, we still display the message when we um, use the action key. But if we use the sword key, we cut the bushes. And the vase is still liftable without power bracelet. So you define your own rules, your own dialogues. But the point is that if you want to add a change later, like maybe a second dialogue, like we just added uh, at the last minute, um, but you already have um, a lot of your game done, you don't have to change all your map scripts. You don't have to change all your individual entities again. You just change the meta table code here because it's defined only once and it applies to your whole game so i hope you are convinced with meta tables this was just another example uh, we will see more examples probably um, yeah this one was 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 quite a simple one and i think it's it will be useful for you don't hesitate to ask questions and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.